Vaccination requirements for employees are a real firebrand issue, and now business leaders face a no-win situation. Make sure to stick around because we're going to dig into should employees be required to be vaccinated or not. Welcome back to my show where leaders increase their profitability through employee performance. Make sure to like and subscribe below because I have a new helpful episode coming at you each and every Wednesday. They can require that employees get vaccinated or not, but when they go down that road, they suddenly face some bigger challenges because if an employee doesn't want to get vaccinated, the situations are they can submit to weekly testing or they can just hit the road and both aren't ideal situations you're going to create employee hostility and perhaps more employee turnover and lose top talent in a business environment where top talent frankly is hard to come by so leaders can one require vaccinations and lose top talent or they can not require vaccinations and lose top talent either way it's a no one situation, but maybe we're not really asking the right question. Sometimes on hot, big issues, the easy solution isn't the right one. And the easy solution to implement here would of course be just require 100% vaccinations or 100% not requiring it at all. But is that the culture you wanna create? Is that really gonna help propel your organization forward in a positive way that's gonna help you hit your goals long-term? There's an old saying, that how you do anything is how you do everything. Your team is watching on how you handle this. Your credibility is at stake, trust is at stake, and the culture that you wanna create long-term is at stake. And how you're gonna move forward on this vaccination issue will actually have a bigger impact even beyond this pandemic. So three things to keep in mind. Number one, whatever direction you choose to go here, over communicate and make sure that people really understand your perspective and what your long-term vision for the company is and really how your decision around this vaccination issue propels your company forward in a positive way. Number two is to acknowledge the stress and the uncertainty around the situation. Many leaders have been doing that throughout the pandemic and there's no time to double down on that then now because this whole idea around vaccinations can become quite stressful. Maybe they have coworkers that they've worked with for years that aren't gonna get vaccinated. And maybe they sit beside them day in, day out, and yet their family is one that's going to get vaccinated, already is vaccinated. And so this can be a wedge that can drive a lot of conflict and a lot of separation among your team. And this is a time to bring people together, not to separate them. Number three is just to recognize that you're probably going to lose some key talent either direction you go. So just be prepared to have your recruitment strategy underway. And when you start recruiting, be clear with them on your vaccination requirements, because that might make an impact on whether they stay with you for the long haul. So thinking about the vaccination question, on a bigger scale in terms of how you do anything is how you do everything you want to approach it in a very thoughtful manner perhaps a better view is to take a common sense approach from a business leader standpoint so i'm not taking this perspective from a, a government a political or religious perspective i'm just taking it from the business leader's perspective to equip you with the questions to consider here are three is the vaccination required for their job function if you have employees that are working in a tightly bound call center and they can suddenly work from home or you're experimenting with that, then maybe there's some more flexibility on your vaccination requirements. If they're a toy maker or they're a, a video game designer and they're in their office all day long or they're working from home and they're not customer facing, there may be a little more leeway to consider versus if they're first responders or they're teachers and they're interacting with students who are not vaccinated. That approach is gonna be a lot different than employees who say work outside all day and they're doing maybe yard maintenance or they're working in construction where they're not interacting with each other closely indoors. So instead of taking the peanut butter approach where you spread 
a mandate across your entire organization, maybe it makes sense to look at the job function and base your requirement upon that. Number two is to consider what's your culture. If your culture has a right lean to it and you're aligned with more conservative organizations, not having vaccinations might make more sense or having only partial requirements versus if you're more of a left leaning organization, you're politically aligned to the left, maybe having vaccinations, of course, do make more sense from a political standpoint. Now, if your organization is not political at all, and you don't have that kind of cultural intertwine and connection, then see question number one. Number three is what's enforceable and what are the consequences that you're willing to apply? If you're going to have a vaccination mandate inside your organization, it's important to think through what those consequences are and are you willing to enforce them? Because if you're not, then you may begin to lose credibility over the long haul as a leader. And it's important to think about this before you actually make your decision and, and make your communication clear. Because again, it's about trust. It's about doing what you say you're going to do and making sure that you can follow through on whatever policy you choose. So the bigger question is here, should employees be required to be vaccinated? Yes or no? And the answer is that it depends on the organization, their job roles, the culture of the organization, and the specific policies regarding uh, the clarity and what's enforceable inside your organization. So take these questions and start the conversation inside your organization. In fact, bring these questions to your next staff meeting and start the dialogue because wherever this goes for your specific organization, you're charting the course to the future and how you're going to communicate and engage with your employees for the long haul, which has direct impact on communication, productivity, retention rates, and the bottom line. Now for more helpful strategies to engage your employees and increase your profitability through employee performance, make sure to stick around for the next video.